Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. We're coming at you about an hour before the London Open here, just to give you a little sense of what we think is going to happen uh, this morning in Europe. Uh, looks like we're risk off today. We had some uh, comments from Grassley uh, about Chinese trade and how it's not really going anywhere. Can't help but uh, focus on this headline on the front page of the FT where China is delaying market entry for Visa and MasterCard. We obviously have this shutdown nonsense, uh, which, according to the front page of the Wall Street Journal, is going to hurt U.S. growth. So sentiment is uh, going to be negative today. How do we make money off of it now? Um, cross yen is... You know, Aussie yen and Kiwi yen are already down almost a percent. Cad yen's a laggard. We got this little uh, this little zone here, 81.40, 81.25, which will be sort of some support. And we have, you know, should be some acceleration here through 40, but then we have support at 25. Um, do like CAD yen lower. We've been stubbornly short, trying to be short this thing now for a couple of days. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to play it, but this one has a little bit of catch up to do to the Aussie yen and Kiwi yen. Crude's down 1.2%. We saw that huge seller um, on Friday. 53.29. There were some resting orders, 1,000 thousand lots. Uh, real money type stuff and that capped it we think crude has turned so we think dollar cad has some more upside cad yen should have some more downside dollar yen also more of a straight play on this um, there will be stops down below 107.80 today uh, but we think dollar yen is going to be sideways because there's going to be there's going to be two equal and opposite forces here um, we have risk off um, with dollar yen and I think we're going to get a little bit of a dollar bid here going into this week so this will slow dollar yen down just a little bit on the downside which is why we favor cross yen lower this week this risk off and what we think is a move towards dollars is going to probably squeeze some of these short dollar EM positions. We talked about this uh, quite a bit. Would uh, dollar rand get down below this 1350 area? It didn't even get close actually, 1376 to low. I feel a little bit early in calling this turn. Um, but if we have some more political bad news in Europe, and if Brexit is a disaster, Euro will get smashed, risk off will go even worse. Um, so you want to keep your eye on this uh, dollar EM trade. So you have dollar Brazil, dollar Russia, and dollar czar. All of them have made big moves at the beginning of the year. These are consensus trades from the investment banks. Um, over the years, the real money to be made on this is to take the other side of this trade after they put this on. So this is something to watch. Equities uh, down 20 handles. Didn't quite get to our sell area 2620, um, but sort of adding to this sort of negative spirit we have today at, uh, to begin the week. Obviously, as uh, my U.S. colleagues have mentioned on the week ahead videos, Sterling uh, is going to be in play this week with this Brexit bullshit. Um, uh, ironically, the European uh, the European boys at Privateer are not going to really be trading much Sterling. We don't. Uh, we've just given up on it. The liquidity is not great. Doesn't make much sense to us. Um, so. You want to use sterling as basically a barometer for vol. Obviously, if Brexit fails, there'll be risk off in euro, there'll be risk off in European stocks, there'll be risk off in general. 
if they kick the can down the road and they extend Brexit, say, nine months or a year, uh, this will this will be a bit of a risk release, but not a long-term one because kicking the can down the road doesn't solve any problems. So the real trade is basically if, you know, Brexit basically fails and we look like we're careening towards a hard Brexit, um, you will see about a f more risk off uh, this week. So, again, we're staying away from, from cable. Our focus, uh, short, um, short cross yen. So your yen, you know, we're, we're sellers today sort of between 20 and 40. Um, CAD yen, we're going to dip our toes again on the short side. We'll be looking at dollar CAD top side um, and see how things go. I'll refine this on Twitter as we go over the hours, and if we see uh, exact entry points, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, uh, I will just wish you luck with a risk-off day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.